amen. Our job, brothers and sisters, is supposed to prepare people, amen. We've been talking about being a priesthood. Are y'all with me, amen? One of the jobs of the priest is to prepare the people for God. Amen. Are y'all listening to me? Yeah. One of the main jobs as a priest, amen, is to prepare the people to meet God. One of the reasons that you're even here, brothers and sisters, this Sunday morning is that you may receive preparation teaching, amen, that will prepare you to meet God. Because one day, you and I are going to stand before God, amen, by ourselves, amen, and you don't want to get caught slipping. Are y'all listening to me, brothers and sisters? But this is an appointment you will make, oh God, and you ain't going to be late for this one. Are y'all listening to me, brothers and sisters, amen? And so we want to prepare you, amen, that when you stand before God, you're not ashamed. That's right. That you know who he is, amen. You know what he wants, amen. You, you know him, amen. Hallelujah. You don't want to stand before God and don't know him. Then that's already going to tell you when you're about to go, amen. You can't come in my house until you first meet me. So we trying to do a hookup this morning. We're trying to get you connected. So when you stand before God, he'll tell you, come on in. And not depart from me. Are y'all listening to me? We're the priest and our job is to prepare the people to meet God. Jesus. I don't think it's very strange. Amen. The God keeps putting out songs. My first song I ever did on the gospel side was Jesus is Coming. Yeah. That was my first video in 2003. I shot. It was called Jesus is Coming. Wow. So when she came in there with these valuable songs and said, she said, Pastor, which one should I do first? I heard a couple. I said, you got to do this one. Because yeah. <laughs> this, this is it's the message. Yeah. We got to prepare the people. Yeah. At least yeah. they drown. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. Come on in the ark. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yes, Are y'all listening to me? Amen. To God be the glory, brothers and yes, sisters. Lord. Amen. On this day. Amen. Yes, amen. Amen. God bless you, Minister D, for pressing your way. Yes, sir. Amen. 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 A giant of the faith, amen, a pastor of this city, mm -hmm. and the person of uh, Pastor Jabari Corgal, amen, who went to be with the Lord, oh, wow. amen, and this is, of course, with Minister Deshaun Godfather, amen, uh -huh. who went up, discipled him and prepared him, amen, oh, yes, sir. amen, so he had every reason to stay home, yes, sir. and be sad, down, and yeah. depressed, I mean, he lost his daddy, y'all yeah. listening to that, yeah. that's serious, yes. amen, yeah. but he pressed his way, yeah. amen, yes, sir. amen. Amen. Yeah. Because I found out you got to serve God regardless. Yeah. Up, down. Glad, sad. Sickness and health. Amen. I, cannot, I cannot use any excuse for me not to serve the Lord. Amen. Good God Almighty. So I salute you, soldier. Amen. I salute you, amen, for being a real soldier and pressing your way. Because real soldiers fight regardless. And they hide back tears and keep fighting. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Anybody was praying God, amen? You was praising him, but you was wiping off tears because you were so much. Amen. God bless you, soldier, on this day. God bless all of you for being in the house of the Lord. Amen. And I have a task to prepare you to meet the master. Good God Almighty. Amen. Before our anniversary celebration on last weekend, it was an amazing celebration. Yes, it was. Amen. God was blessed. It's always good. Every once in a while, for the Lord to show you what you're doing is not in vain. Yes, sir. I'm not the one that That's seeks signs. Amen. Yes, I don't seek uh, applause. I don't seek any of that. Amen. But it's always good just to say, okay, these 12 years wasn't in vain. Amen. Amen. So He blessed us. Amen. It was an amazing uh, celebration. But before our celebration, we have been talking about God calling His people the body of Christ. Amen. The priesthood. Amen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. When yes, sir. God birthed the body, brothers and sisters, he did not 
have in mind for certain individuals to be priests. Right, right. Individuals that have carried titles, pastor, bishop, uh -huh. and so forth. Right. But when God birthed the body of Christ, brothers and sisters, That's he looked at his whole body as yeah. a priesthood. Yeah, yeah. Are y'all listening to me? Because we are Christians. I mean, we follow in the way of Christ. That's it. And one of the jobs of your Lord is he's a priest. Yes. Matter of fact, he's a high priest. The Bible right. lets That's us right. know. Amen. 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 And that he sits at the right hand of the Father, yes. making intercession yes. like priests do yes. on our behalf. Yes. Amen. Yes. So if you and I, brothers and sisters, are going to be like God, you have to become a priest. That's right. Yes. That's right. Oh, hallelujah. Are y'all listening? A priest is a position. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We're sons and daughters of God, yes, but but anytime God gives you favor, yes, He'll give you a position in yes, the kingdom. Yes, yes, Are y'all yes, listening to me? Yes, and so the position that God has given His children yes. is priest. Yes, sir. We're a priesthood. Yes, sir. Are y'all listening to me, yes, brothers? This is our position. This is our job. If you're jobless and you need a job, I want to let you know the kingdom of God is always high. Is amazing. The benefits are incredible, and, and the retirement is my wow. I, I, I got this to the me, brothers and sisters. Amen. If you need a job, the kingdom of God is hiring. But this position that where he's hiring or we're hiring in is the priest position. Oh, I like that, Pastor. Amen. It's good. We learn, brothers and sisters. Let me give you some scripture. We're gonna keep going. Because that's what I'm going to be talking about today is us being a priesthood. Amen. Yeah, sure. And this came out of God. And so this is priesthood part four. Amen. Yeah, this sure. came out of us celebrating 12 years. Doing that 12 is a number of establishment. 12 is a number of government. Mm -hmm. 12 is a number of holiness of concerning yeah, sure. the Bible. Yeah, sure. God chose 12 tribes of Israel, 12 sons yeah, sure. to be his nation when Jesus started his ministry. He chose 12 apostles. Amen. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. This is a number of holiness, government, establishment. Yes, and one thing the Lord wanted us to know that he's establishing us yes, as being his priest. In the book of Exodus, chapter 19, verse 6, mm -hmm. it says, And ye shall be unto me a kingdom of what? Priests. Priest. Priest. This is when he told people when he brought them out of slavery. Right. They didn't right. have an identity. Right. Uh -huh. right. I'm right. used to being a slave. I'm right. free. Right. What am I now? Right. Right. I used to be a gangster. I'm free. Right. What am I now? I used to be a prostitute. I'm free. What am I now? I used to be a whore. I'm free. What am I now? I used to be a drug dealer. I'm dope free. I'm free. What am I now? Amen. I used to be that, but he freed me from that. He called me out of that. Amen. So who am I? You operate by your identity. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's good. And God told me to tell you, you're priest. This is what he told him. Thank and you shall be a kingdom of priests, a holy nation. These are the words that thou shalt speak. He told Moses to tell the children of Israel. These are the words that thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel. Knowing God gives us the Old Testament because the Old Testament is predominantly physical to understand the New Testament, which is predominantly spiritual. Amen. So we go into the New Testament, amen, in 1 Peter 2 and 9. And Peter said, but ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people that ye should show forth the praise of him who called you out of darkness into the marvelous light. Amen. So that's why we came up. Uh, that's why, let me say, the Holy Ghost is letting us know that we are a priesthood. We've already learned that the priest in the Old Testament came from the son of Levi. He's giving you a little foundation. Amen. Because this is for learning. Amen. Yes, sir. That the priest, the priesthood came from the son of Levi. Amen. It was, was the third son of Jacob. Amen. Yes, Levi means to join two. Okay. Right? Our job as a priest is okay. to join God's people to him. Okay. Today, I'm not here for you to join me. Okay. Are y'all listening to me? Amen. Our person said, look to me. I'm here to join you to That's God. Good. That's right. That's hey. good. Right? We stand as mediators. Between God and his people trying to hook this thing up. Catch it. Catch it. We learn, amen, that Jacob, Levi, forgive me, started off cursed by his father. Oh. 
Levi, uh, Jacob cursed Levi. Amen. And what broke the curse is that Levi answered the call of God. Amen. That lets us know we all started off cursed by our our fathers. Born of this flesh, shaped in iniquity. Amen. Shaped in sin. Amen. But when you answer the call to Christ, amen, and receive Christ as your Lord and Savior, you're actually breaking the curse that's on your life. All of us came out cursed, just in case you want to know that. Amen. Amen. We learned, brothers and sisters, that God called the, the, the Levite and turned them into the Levitical priesthood, and he called them out from any other tribe. Called out. Amen. Amen. The church means, our, the another word for church is ecclesia, which means the called out ones. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. And we learned also, brothers and sisters, that God gave the priest, amen, the job of caring for his temple. Amen. One thing about your God, amen, he is a king. Y'all listening to me? He is the king of kings. But his throne is not in a palace. Normally, earthly kings, their thrones are in palaces. Your king throne is not in a palace, it's in a temple. When God set up his throne, he didn't set it up in a big, beautiful palace. He set it up in a temple. Yeah. Are y'all listening to me? Uh, because he's a God king. <laughs> See, you got earthly kings, but they're not God. He's a God king. And God deserves to be worshipped. Are y'all listening to me? So he set his place, his temple, or his throne, excuse me, in a place of worship. Yes, sir. That's good. That's good. And whatever you get is people coming together worshiping him, he yes, sits on the throne. Sitting on the throne. Yeah. That's good. And y'all listen to me. If you ever want to get God to come into your life, you have to start worshiping him. Yes, because wherever there's worship, God will sit down on him. You start worshiping, and he'll come and sit on you.
this place. There's a glory in this place. Hallelujah. 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 Just in case you didn't know, if the Lord takes his hand off you, you'll crumble. It's not by your power nor by your might. It's not by your job nor your education. God is keeping you. Are y'all listening to me? God is keeping you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I got to go into this. Amen. Amen. We've been talking about the temple. We've been using the temple as a case study to understand who we are in God. Good God Almighty. Amen. So we've been dealing with the temple of Solomon and what the and how it was built and how it was structured and what it is. So we will understand our role as priests. Tell a brother, sister, you are a priest. You are a priest. That's who you are. You are a priest. Are y'all listening to me? The reason we're dealing with Solomon's temple, amen, goes down on the other something. This is, and not Moses' temple. And I have those two compared. Moses is the bottom. Solomon is the top. Amen. Moses built his in the wilderness. Amen. Solomon built his in the promise. Amen. Yes, amen. But I deal with both. Amen. Even though Solomon Temple is definitely fashioned after Moses Temple. Amen. Always understand that we stand on the on the shoulders of our elders. Yes, sir. Yes. Are listening That's to good. me? That's good. Amen. Just to let you know, you owe it to your elders that sacrifice to be great. That's yes. good. Amen. Are y'all listening oh, to me? I feel yes. that. That's amen. Right. Hallelujah. Amen. I owe it to those that was in the cotton field. That's amen. Right. To be somebody. That's Are y'all right. listening to me? The one that was praying, being whipped. Amen. And I dare, amen, I be free. Amen. And don't be an amount to anything. Amen. We have people picking cotton with us. Yes, go ahead, go ahead. Come on now. I owe it to them. Yes. Owe it to them, people that sacrifice for you to be here, to be something. Are y'all listening to me? That's wrong for me to do everything to get you there when you got there and you didn't respect it. Are y'all listening to me? You blew it, you squandered. I worked day and night saving it up trying to get it to you. Amen. When I gave you, you squandered on righteous living. I'm ashamed on you. We owe it to God to be something, how much He sacrificed. I know that's the old school type stuff, amen. Right, yes, okay. You don't like to hear that type of stuff. Right. Don't let me work day and night and you turn out to be nothing. Oh, Are y'all listening hey. to me? Oh my God. God Almighty. Thank you, Lord. Oh. 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 oh! oh my God, my God. So he built it on the, the, the shoulders of his elder Moses. Moses Temple stood for 400 years. Solomon Temple stood for 400 years. The reason I'm, we're doing Solomon's Temple and not Moses because Solomon's Temple is greater. And anytime your elders have sacrificed for you, they're sacrificing for you to be something greater than they are. So I went to Solomon Temple so you would understand when Jesus said greater works, you should do in my name. Yes, sir. Amen. I did the hard part for you. Yes, sir. Hey, y'all listen to me. Oh, Hallelujah. I got to keep going. I, I'm not going to have nothing I need to say. Amen. I guess God is saying all that he needs to say. Amen. Amen. That's it. Amen. So the temple is made up of three court, three parts. Forgive me. The outer court, the holy place, and then the holies of holies. Amen. This is Solomon Temple is made up of the outer court, the holy place, and then the holies of holies. Amen. Just as we as people, we have three parts. Amen. We are a spirit that has a soul that lives in a body. Amen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. That's who we are. Amen. The body, the outer court, the, the holy place, your soul. Amen. And the holies of holies, your spirit. Amen. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost. Are y'all listening to me, brothers and sisters? Amen. And so, and keep that soul part in the back of your head. I'm going to be talking. That's where we're going into the holy place. Yes. Amen. So I'm going to be talking about that and your soul part. Amen. Amen. Soul part. That's good. Last week in the outer court, we dealt with the, the altar of sacrifice when they burned the lambs. Yes, sir. And we dealt with the bronze laver. Amen. Yes, altar of sacrifice. Soon you came into this beautiful, beautiful place. You were met by crying animals. You were met by blood. Yeah. You were met by death. 
Amen. Amen. Yeah. To let you know you cannot come into the presence of God without sacrifice. Are y'all listening to me? You can't come into the presence of anything great without sacrifice. Are y'all listening to me? Amen. I, I'm going to share a couple of testimony. When we, when we were doing the football, amen, and I knew we were about to go, we were part of the Snoop Dogg League, and I knew we were about to go meet Snoop, amen, and have this big meeting with him, amen. The first guy I put in my spirit, I told my brothers, we need to offer him some gifts. Yeah. <laughs> because you never go before somebody great empty-handed. Come on, That's right. Yeah. That's so we made him some dope shirts and all type of stuff, and everybody was going before him saying, shaking his hand, asking. Right. Yeah. When we went before him, we shook his hand. Yeah, Give me. That's good. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And when we were about to walk off, he said, no, don't leave, fellas. Come on with me. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Are, are y'all listening to yeah. me? Yeah. Amen. Because you don't go before great people or great yeah. things empty-handed. Yeah. Are y'all listening to me? Yeah. And so yeah. we're met by the altar of sacrifice. Let you know, and that's pointing to Christ, the sacrifice on the cross. To let you know to come, even come in, yeah. you got to come through Jesus. That's right. That's right. Because Jesus paid the cost. He sacrificed so you could come yeah. in. When he died, the veil in the temple was ripped from the top to the bottom, giving you access to God. There is no access to God outside of Christ. I'm going to talk about that a little later. And then we came, we came to the blazing, I mean the bronze labor where the priests washed themselves. That's talking to the word of God as well. To come into the presence of God, you've got to know his word as well. Amen. The more you know his word, the more of his presence you will receive. That's right, that's right. Amen. Are y'all with me, brothers and sisters? Amen. Everybody is on the outside. Mm -hmm. Priests, animals, people, but only the priests could come in on the inside. Uh, Everybody's outside. But only the priests can come in. That's why it's very important that you take this job of being a priest so you can come into the presence of God. That's right, that's right, that's right. Amen. Are y'all listening to me? But God told me to ask you a question. Do you want to come in? That's a good question. He said, so I'm going to ask him this question. question. Because to get more, you have to want to get more. Right. Yeah. right. Wow. Are y'all listening to me? This would separate you from mediocrity. Yeah. Everybody's on the outside. Everybody. But if you want more glory, if you want more greatness in your life, you have to make a decision in your heart. Okay. I want more. Okay. This would separate the boys from the men. Are y'all listening to me? You can sit out with all the chickens you want, amen. But only a, uh, only a couple of times I'm going to fly with the eagles. Um, are y'all listening to me? But this has to be a decision in you. Amen. This has to be something you want. The great athletes, the great, they made a decision. When everybody leaves the gym, I'm going to stay in the gym and keep shooting. See, that's something in them. Are y'all listening to me? If you want more, amen, you're going to say, I'm going to suffer more. I wanted to give more. I was talking to one of my youngsters yesterday, amen. I said, I know you're going to make it to the NFL. He says, how do you know it? I said, because you're willing to pay the cost. That's good. Are y'all listening to me? Because this is the great amongst the great. Are y'all, even if you're sitting on a bench, they still break. Amen. And everybody does not make it to that level. Amen. Because you cannot get that level without sacrifice. If you want more glory, you got to read more Bible. If you want more glory, you got to pray more. If this is enough, that's all right. But for us that want more, Sunday ain't enough for me. I got to do this thing every day. Are y'all listening to me? Because there's a certain level of glory I want. Right. Now, you don't want it? That's okay. Right. He said, you can, when he gave the manna, he said, you can just eat as much as you want. Yeah. As many as much as you want. If you don't want to eat a lot, that's all right. Amen. But if you like me, you're kind of greedy. Yeah. Uh, 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 I love this. Lord. I need more. Tell them I need more. Oh, yeah. I need more. I got some joy, but I want more. I got some peace, 
Any level you're trying to go to, yes, sir. Uh -huh. in order for you to come in, you got to have a door. <laughs> what, what separates this room from all the rest of the rooms is a door. To get in this room, because in each room, there's different functionalities. Even to this building, you got kitchens, you got studio, you got computer rooms and all. But to get to each level, or let me say dimension, there has to be a door. So when God gets ready to take you to another level, He's going to present a door in front of you. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, 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 oh. A job. Uh -huh. A person. Uh -huh. There has to be a door. A door. Uh -huh. Listen to me. Uh -huh. Jesus said this, brothers and sisters, in John 10 9. I am the door. Yeah. If any enters by me, he will be saved and will go in and out and find pleasure. Wow. What brings us into God is that we got to go through the door. Yeah. Of Jesus, yeah. Amen. Yeah. You keep praying for the blessing right. and the in the room, Amen. But what you should start praying for is oh. what is the door, because you can't get in the room without the door. You keep saying, "Lord, bring me into the room, bring me into the room, bring me into the room." But how you get in the room is by the door. So you got to stop looking over people, Amen, and looking at relationships as little. Because the door is always smaller than the room. You gotta find your door. You You'll never get to the level that you're trying by yourself. There's somebody that's going to bring you into this. Uh huh. Yes, it is. Y'all listening to me? Mm -hmm. They're already in the room. And you want to get in the room. But if you bust in the room, they're going to sit you in the back. But if you come in by the door, you'll get set in front. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, a lot of us can't get in because we can't humble ourselves to the door. You want to preach. Come on. If you're too tall, you got to dig up down. Right. Oh my God. Yeah. Yep. See, see, you're standing at the door, but you're not humbling yourself at the door. Uh -huh. So the door is keeping you out. Yeah, yeah. Woo! yeah. I hope y'all hear what yeah. I'm saying. I hear. To get into the next level, you have to humble yourself yeah. and you got to serve your way in. Amen. Amen. If you try to come to the next level, trying to show the next level who you are, we're going to reject you. Come on. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm not going to give you something from just easy that I work super hard for. Uh, are y'all to me? So if you humble yourself yeah. under the mighty hand of God and do time, God will exalt you. But if you exalt yourself, God will humble you. The more you keep saying, I want the fret, the more God is going to sit you in the back. Until you get comfortable of yeah. being in the back, yeah. then God will usher you to the yeah. front. Yes, he will. Wow. Amen. 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 Somebody say, I think there's more in you. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hallelujah. I didn't start off as a person, a pastor. I started off as an armor bearer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Grabbing the water, the yeah. fetching boy. Mm -hmm. Go get my stuff. Yeah. Get my keys. Uh -huh. Pull my car up. Yeah. Get that, get that, get that, get that, get that. Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. Never knowing that God was preparing me for this. Yeah. Are y'all listening to me? Because before you can be ruler of your own vision, uh -huh. the Bible says you got to be faithful over the next man's vision. Yeah, that's right. Now, do y'all really want the Bible? That's, it. that's the Bible. That's what the Bible says. That's right. 
You be full ruler over, you be faithful over a few things, right. God will make you ruler over many things. Right. You're not gonna come into this on level 10. No, you gotta start at one, like we all did. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Ooh, but if you serve, that's right. If you suffer, God will establish you. But if you come to a level acting like you know this level, the people that's on that level are going to consider you ignorant because they know you don't know. Right. We've never seen you in none of them. Right. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Right. Oh, so you got to humble yourself. Amen. So you can dip into the door. Yeah. I'm going to see God. Oh, yeah. Jesus. How can I have any problem? How can I look at any of myself as something that deserves to see? It's not by man's works that you are saved. Not by man's works. So we're going in. Good God Almighty. I, I'm not going to get through this. So Jesus. We're going in. Now, what's so interesting about this door, that in front of this door you have pillars. And the pillar on the left is named Boaz. This is Solomon's temple. It's two pillars that stand in front of this door. Yeah. And the pillar on the right is named Jachin. Okay. Yeah. Boaz, brothers and sisters. Y'all know Boaz. Mm -hmm. Boaz married Ruth. Right. Mm -hmm. Hey, y'all listening to me? Woo. Amen. That became, amen, Jesus' great, 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 great grandfather. Right. Mm -hmm. Who is also Solomon's great, great, great grandfather. Yeah. Because Solomon is in the line of David. Lydia. And so is Jesus in the line of David. That's right. right. They all listen to me. And so on one side, there's establishment. Okay. Wow. In this house, God is establishing. We as priests, we establish the culture of God in this crazy culture. We don't try to mix with the culture or fit into the culture. We have our, we try to convert their culture yeah. into our culture. Amen. We're established, we're anchored in the yes. things of the yes. Lord. Yes. Yes. Priests have to be anchored in your faith. Yes. You have to be anchored in the gospel. Yes. It can be God and. Yes. And y'all listen, God and the house, God and the car, God and the stuff. Right. Amen. You have to rather serve God regardless. Just God. You have to be anchored. My soul. The old people used to say it's anchored in the Lord. Yes. The house is designed to anchor you in God. That's yes. good. That's good, Pastor. And Boaz is strength. You're coming into something very strong. Ooh, yes. Good God Almighty. Yes. You're coming into something strong. You're coming into might. You're, you're coming into the house of God. There is no weakness in the house of God. There is no frailty in the house of God. Are y'all listening to me? This is a holy place. It's a secret place. Are y'all listening to me? It's strength. Beauty and strength are with you. Good God Almighty. Amen. Let these pillars let you know, amen, that you're entering into beauty and strength. That's so good. You're entering into something that has been established from the foundations of the world, amen. This temple is built on a rock. It's unshakable. It's on Mount Moriah. Good God Almighty. You've been built on the chief cornerstone, which is the rock of Jesus. And God says, I want to make you beautiful and strong. Comes from your battles. Wow! See, you keep looking at your scars as something ugly. You keep looking at your scars as a blemish. But if you are a real warrior, your scars are which is your beauty. You can show them by your scars. Look at all the wars I survived. Look how good God has been to me. These are my beauty marks. Are y'all listening to me? I want you to see my weaknesses, but the glory of God may be 
established. So I tell you what he brought me from. I will expose my scars so you will really see how strong my God really is. In this setting, we hide. We make people, we think that we had it all together. And we feel like this our whole life. And we don't want to expose our scars. And if you don't expose your scars, we can't see your beauty. Wow! If you keep trying to act like you never went through nothing, and you got it all together, and your testimony is just, I just thank for God waking me up this morning, because you're expected to be transparent and show your scars, you're only hiding your beauty. That's right. That's right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Because the Holy Ghost moves Woo! in truth. You yeah. 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 And he know you ain't always been like that. Yeah. He know you ain't always been yeah. shouting. Yeah. He remember when you was tipping. Yeah. And so, if you let even your family never see your scars, you intimidate them. Yeah. You don't compel them, you intimidate them. Oh, that's right. Because they're dealing with a whole lot of scars yeah. and scar right. tissue yes. <laughs> yes, that's and right. everything else. Yes, yes. And you act and walking around like you have no that's scars. Right. And I'm saying, I'm, when I look at you, I'm telling myself, I can never be that. Woo, Jesus! But if you would come down and take your cape off a minute yeah. and show me that Superman really has a Clark Kent side. Yes, hallelujah. Go ahead, go ahead. Then, then that will make me look at myself in a better perspective. To, to let me know I can be Jacob and Israel. And Israel. Oh, one day. The one in the Bible every once in a while will say Jacob called his children, but Israel blessed them. Jake, same man. Yeah. Jacob and Israel. Yeah. Jacob and Israel. Because his whole life he was Jacob and Israel. He was Jacob and Israel. He was God. He was Trickster. He was God. Are y'all listening to me? Yeah. So don't find it strange every once in a while. Yes. That is good. Now when you say that, you turn us to Jacob. Pillars represent yes, so yeah. okay. strength and beauty. Yes. Yeah. All of your tests yes, oh are designed to make you strong so good. and beautiful. So Thank you, Thank you, so Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my God. When you make it through this, you're going to be strong yeah. and beautiful. Yeah. Right. 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 Thank you. Woo. Oh my God. And we'll send you through the fire. And everything that's not is going to burn off. Let's go to the door. Go. This door, this door has, see that's, that's how it looks. Oh, I, got, I got to tell you about the pillars. The top of the pillars are a crown, and the bottom of it is a pomegranate. That's a crown pomegranate. Yes. And the reason they use pomegranates because they even use pomegranates at the bottom when we talk about the priest's garments, uh -huh. those garments, because pomegranates represent prosperity yes. and, oh Lord, give my the word. And prosperity. Mm -hmm. Longevity. Amen. I want to say intelligent. <laughs> I'm black. Amen. But a pomegranate represents prosperity because it's so seedful. Yes. And the more seedful you are, the longer you will last. Yeah. Are y'all listening yeah. to me? Yeah. So they put pomegranate at the top of this to let you know this is a place that is very fruitful and prosperous. Yeah. And it will last forever. Yeah. Yeah. The blessing of God on your life will never run out. Oh, He's giving you everlasting life. That means as long as you are alive, and I'm not just talking about on this side, I'm talking about even on the other side, you're going to still be blessed. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. I will be blessed regardless. Surely, 
goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Let everybody that believe that say amen. amen. So stop worrying that it's going to run out. Yes. It's never going to run out. It's springing from an everlasting fountain. Yes, hallelujah. That reached, I gotta stop. I gotta listen to me. So I let you know you're coming to a very this is a season. God's gonna make you very seedful. Yes. God is going to establish you. He's going to prosper you. You're going to be blessed in the city, yes, in the field, in your going, in your coming. Are y'all listening to me? It's going to be hard for you not to be prosperous. The more you're going to give, the more you're going to give back. You're going to be like Ruth. You're just going to be walking, picking up blessings. Because I'm going to give you water for the seed. Are y'all listening to me? Mm. Word, on this door, you have, brothers and sisters, you have palm trees, fruit, and angels. Palm trees, fruit, and angels. Good God, what a combination. Who's that boy we like in that book? Shakuri. boy. And there's a little bit of everything. Holy Ghost, fruit, someone. It just lets you know you're coming into a very blessed place and the door is solid gold. I want to let you know you're coming to a very blessed place. The priest, listen to me, the priest operates in a very blessed place. Good God. Let's go in. In going in. Oh God. When you go in, I want to deal with the light, but I don't want to get there. But when you go in, you're met by your fragrance. Yeah. I'm dealing with soul now. Yes. A part of your soul is you can smell, touch, and taste. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's the soul part of you. When you walk into the house of God, you're met with a fragrance. You're met by the fragrance of fresh bread right. yes. from the table of shoe bread. Oh. Have you ever walked to somebody's house and smelled fresh bread? Yes. It's like a smell you've never smelled before. I mean, when the yeast is rising, all you want is butter. Anytime somebody's cooking something good, you can smell it from afar off. Yes, There's a gas station we go to in a window. Yeah. And I don't know what that restaurant is. I mean, but every once in a while, that smoke, we come in and just smell it so good. I thought, I gotta go over there and try it. My nose. It used to be a commercial. What that drug Follow your nose. Right? So you got fresh bread. Then you got a lamp that's burning. Fresh olive oil. Oh, thank the picture, God. Yes. And then I take you to the altars of incense where they burn the sweet incense. When you come, see, outside, all you smell is flesh, death. But when you walk in the house, there's a whole different aroma. How you know you are walking the people of God's life is by the aroma that's coming off there. Let's do it. When I smell you, what do I smell? And I'm not talking about your cologne or your perfume because you can put off an atmosphere of worry. You, you can put off a scent of discouragement. You can put off a scent of sin. Are, are y'all listening to me? See, see one, one of the, the testimonies of the three Hebrew boys when they came out of the fire is that they didn't smell like it. They said they were in fire, but they didn't smell like smoke. Are, are y'all listening to me, brothers and sisters? Amen. And God wants to so clean us with the word, not only will you not look like what you've been through, but you won't even put off an aroma. Uh, God says, I want you to smell like joy. I want you to smell like love. 
I want you to smell like forgiveness. I want you to smell like blessing. I want you to smell like victory. There's a certain smell. I keep my cologne in my car. Amen. Because every time I go in somewhere, I, I hit myself with it. Because I want to walk in and I want you to equate me with a certain smell. I want you to walk past me and say, hmm, he smells good. I want you to listen to Amen. And God says, but don't just do it with your cologne. Do it with your lights. Yes. Let people walk past you and say, man, she's so sure not happy. Are y'all listening to me? Wow, we're giving you all that joy. Look at that smile on your face. Are y'all listening to me? He wants you not to smell like what you've been through. He don't want you to smell like hurt. He don't want you to smell like depression. He don't want you to smell like it. Don't put off that B.O. Are y'all listening to me? But go in to your closet and allow the word to take away that life odor. Yeah. Are y'all? Uh, yeah. The flesh stinks. Are y'all this is the rotten flesh stinks? Are you yeah. we, we had all that chicken flesh in our garbage and over the weekend, right? And we had it in our garage. And when I went in the garage, I told them, we got to get these cans out of here. Call yeah. this meal. I shouldn't walk in my house and it's smelling like this. And she said, we can't put it out because the housing people said you can't have, you know, I said, no. and I got angry. I just walked in and shut the door. Because <laughs> I shouldn't walk in my house and it smells like flesh. Jesus, that's good, Jesus. Jesus. It's just in my garage, it wasn't in my room in my garage. But I go into my garage, to my house. And when I went into my house, when I went to my garage, it stinked. And I was upset. And I had to apologize to her because it wasn't her fault. She just told me to stop because I don't obey the rules. Yeah. <laughs> but I couldn't know. That's so good. This odor does not represent. Yes, sir. That's good. Oh, yeah. God, that's so good. That's, that's so good. Get it out of here. Get it out of here. Anything that's causing you to stink. Get it out of here. Get it out of here. Get it out of me. Get it out of me. Clean me up, God. Wash me, God, from my head to my toe so I become white as snow because I want to stand So when you walk into the house of God, and this is for the greeters, it's supposed to be a certain aroma when you walk in here. Yes. Oh. When people walk in here, it's supposed to smell love. Love. Yes. Love. love. Mm, just love. Yeah. Coffee coming from the back. Yeah. Don't, I mean, just yeah. love. Just love. Amen. That's it. I could not overlook the aroma. Jesus. God doesn't really mention it, but I know what I know, and I know there's a cold, beautiful smell in the house of the Lord. Yes, 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 yes. And then we come to the light. Yes. Hallelujah. This place is not does not have outside light. It's inside. It's inside. It was made with no windows. That's right. The only light in this place is what we call the menorah. Yes. The menorah That's right. of gold and candlesticks. Yes. It's one Ooh. solid piece of gold. Uh -huh. But it's been made to three parts. Yes. A base, yes. a stem, mm -hmm. and branches. branches. It's one piece though. Mm -hmm. But like the temple, it has three parts. A base, the father. Yes. The stem, the son. Mm -hmm. Then the church, the, the branches. branches. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Amen. Ye are the branches. Yeah. Are y'all listening to me? Let me give you more. The menorah. The menorah is the only light that burns by oil. That's, right. That's why you cannot let your oil go out. That's why the virgins did not give their oil away. Are y'all listening to me? After a while, some people, they got to learn how to pray for themselves. Yeah! yeah. See, see, you're going to call me, and there's going to be times I answer. 
and I'm going to pray, and I'm going to fight, and I'm going to go in with you, and I'm going to do all of that. And then you're going to be calling one time, and I'm not going to answer. Okay. All right? Because, and if I don't answer, sometimes that's a sign that I only have enough oil for myself. Yeah. That's why you got to read for yourself. You got to pray for yourself. Amen, because you got to keep your light on. Yes, sir. Are, are y'all listening yes, to me, sir. brothers and sisters? Amen. This lamp, God commanded to never let the light go out. Never let the light go out. So for 24-7, they was putting oil in this lamp to keep it burning. How you keep your light from going out is that you constantly have to get the oil. Good God, you have to get in the presence of God. You have to get into worship. You have to get in your word. Amen. Hallelujah. See, you have to know how to create an atmosphere like this by yourself. Amen. See, I don't need to come here to create an atmosphere like this. I can do this right in my house. Amen. I know how to get in my car. That's what I said. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I praise you. Lord, I glorify you. Hallelujah. my path, how you see what's real and what's not, 
who's real and what's not, what's an angel and what's a devil, is through the word of God. God said, I will reveal all to you. Are y'all listening to me? Hallelujah. I will direct thy path if you trust in me. Amen. I will show you which way you need to go if you trust in me. But you got to go according to to the word, brothers and sisters, because it's a lamp into your feet and it's a light into your path. You are walking in pure darkness if you're only walking in the wisdom of man. Are y'all listening to me, brothers and sisters? The wisdom of God will reveal to you how this world was saved, how this world came together. Are y'all listening to me? How this world stole functioning. I know I'm more intelligent, amen, now, amen, that I met Jesus than I was before I met Jesus. What that word did is touch my intellect. Are y'all listening to me, brothers and sisters? I used to be literary till I started reading that Bible. Ah. Yeah, yeah, now, yeah. now, now I'm going to colleges teaching classes. Y'all yeah. don't hear me. I Somebody that couldn't graduate That's now true. can teach a class. Ain't that, Ain't that something? All oh, glory to the word of the Lord. The word will make you wise past your age. Yeah. It don't matter. See, see, God chose. Amen, Josiah, right. to be a king at eight. eight Amen. But eight. Josiah did not have eight-year-old wisdom because it was Josiah who found the word. Uh -huh. Are y'all listening to me? It was an eight-year-old boy. Yeah. Amen. That had more wisdom than an eight-year-old man uh -huh. who lost the word. Lost yes, the word. Yes. So it doesn't matter your age. It matters do you study. Do you are y'all listening to me? Because you can be old and a fool. Uh -huh. And you can be young and wise. Yeah. Are y'all listening? So don't worry about your age and think you'll know more when you get older. I'm telling you that ain't true. Are y'all listening to me? What makes you know, brothers and sisters, is that you study to yeah. show thyself a fool. Good God Almighty, that you know the scriptures. That you can walk with people yeah. through the word of the Lord. Yeah. And the word will reveal unto you why your daddy was supposed to be your daddy. Yeah. Yeah. And why your mama was supposed to be your mama. And why you are not a mistake. I don't care if you were born a metal station. Amen. Yeah. The word will show you this is why I had you yeah. come into the world that way. Are y'all listening to yeah. me, brothers and sisters? The word will reveal you're supposed to be the age you are. Stop tripping off the age you are. Yeah. You're supposed to be the age you are. Yeah. You're supposed to be the gender you are. You were supposed to be raised. You were supposed to be raised. All of this is according to the plan that God has over your All life. Right. I don't know who I'm talking to today, but I want to let you know that you are who you are. Yeah. God made you love yourself, yeah. enjoy yourself. Good God Almighty, you are not a mistake. Yes. You are not a mistake. You are not a mistake. Amen. But you have been fearfully and wonderfully all <laughs> made according to the mystery, the word of the Lord. Yes. Are y'all listening to me? But you won't know it, brothers, if you don't get in the word. That's good. Mm -hmm. Amen. Good God Almighty, yes. it's this word. It's this word. Uh -huh. Look, Moses had one menorah. Solomon had ten menorahs. Moses had one for the size of his house. And for the size of Solomon's house, he had ten. That means the more you grow, the more your uh, the more your study has to grow. Uh, are y'all listening to me, brothers? I know this church is growing because my word is growing. Uh, you only can go based on how you eat. Right. You only can go based on how you feed. Right. Uh, you, you can't run a long time and you ain't ate nothing. Are y'all listening to me? Before Elijah started his journey, he said you gotta rise up and eat something. Because this journey is gonna take something out of you. Yeah. It's gonna pull something out of you. So make sure you don't run out. Food. Oh, so I'm going, I can't go to the But I gotta go a little 
deeper. I got to go deeper. I got to go deeper. I got to go deeper. If you want to start with the Bible stories, that's good. But I got to go to algebra. I got to go to calculus. I got to go to geometry. God has more. 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 My appetite got to get bigger. My appetite got to get bigger. I pray in the name of Jesus for everybody in here that your appetite gets bigger. Your appetite gets bigger. You got to grow for where you're going. You got to grow for where you're going. You're going against devils in high places. You're going against wickedness in high places. And you got to know how to pull out that Yeah. And go to war. The word is a sword. You can't fight the devil if you don't know your word. He's going to get your kids. He's going to get your generation. You got to put a scripture on it. As for me and my house, we going to serve the Lord. He going to take your health if you don't know the word. He going to spit it right underneath you. But you got to tell that devil, he was wounded for my transgressions.
the word. I got the word. Tell somebody I got the word. Not only my soul. I may not have money, but I got the word. Yes, I do. I may not have a title, but I got the word. I got something kicking in me. I got something growing in me. Yes! Showed you something, yeah. Yeah. but if you be honest, you really don't know how you're going to even get there. Uh -huh. That's right. That's right. That's right. He says, "How are you going to get on the path to your destination? The map is in the Word." Hey, Hallelujah! That's, That's right. That's good. That's good. As you study the Word, I'm going to show you where to put your next step. Thank yes, you, Jesus. That's right. That's Thank right. you, Lord. Yes. Oh my God. Because you gotta walk this out step yes. by step. Yes. By step. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. By step. That's it. Yeah, oh. yeah. hallelujah. Yes. Oh, but, how, oh, but I need a map. Yeah, mm. hallelujah. Oh, my, 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 my. I, I need Google. Yes. Maps. It's in the word. It's in the word. Because I don't know where to turn right or where to turn Jesus. left at. Yes, Lord. I don't know. Hallelujah. You guys all had navigation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Notice how your navigation don't say nothing. Until mm -hmm. you get close to the turn. Right. right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. And you have anxiety. Because mm -hmm. you say, uh -huh. was that the street? Uh -huh. <laughs> the street? Yeah. But if you don't hear nothing, keep going straight. Keep going. Right. Keep going. Uh -huh. keep going. But as you get in the word, uh -huh. it's going to show you where your next turn is. Thank you. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. It's going to show you where your next left is. Yes. yes. Where your next right is. Hallelujah. The map is in, is the, in, in the word. Hallelujah. The word. Oh my God. Hallelujah. I know where I'm trying to go. Uh -huh. yes. But I don't know how I'm going to get there. Yes. Hallelujah. Do I take 85, 80? Huh. Do I build here or there? East or west? Oh, God. Hallelujah. Make foot of you. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I'm okay with saying I don't know. Yes, mm -hmm. Because I'm connected to the one that is our missing. Yes, yeah. he knows. He knows. Yes, he does. But you got to come seek him now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Stand to your feet. Bless you, God. Woo.